Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about waxing graphite. Um, here's a drawer that has been painted with two coats of graphite. And graphite tends to be the hardest color to get a really good even sheen of wax on. People struggle a lot with it, it looks splotchy, um, looks two-toned, they have a lot of troubles with it. Um, but there is a secret to really help it. Typically, now I love, see it. My regular Annie Sloan wax brush, uh, this one's even kind of hard and crusty with old wax on it. This is what I wax always with. These are the best, they're wonderful, and I love them. But when it comes to graphite, I actually don't use a brush. I use steel wool. Um, doesn't matter if you're doing clear wax or black wax or dark wax or white wax. The steel wool tends to give it kind of this really even, wonderful coat on there um, and I'll do that in a second here to show you but just so you know um, if you do it with clear wax you get kind of like the actual color of graphite which is more of a charcoal color or has a little bit of blue to it if you put straight dark wax on it you could get, get kind of this rich dark brown color and if you put straight black wax on it you get like a jet black black like a true black and of course if you put white wax on it you get kind of like this weathered washed kind of whitewashed look um all of it are really cool and they're all meant for whatever look you're going for so hold on let me get my tools and then i will show you how to do um dark wax straight on here on this drawer Okay, so now I have gotten my tools. Of course, I'm going to use Annie Sloan Soft Wax in Dark. Then I have a drawer that's been painted two times with uh, two coats of graphite. Then I have fine grade steel wool. Then I have my handy dandy um, lint free blue shop towels to kind of take away the excess. You can also use an old t shirt here. Um, just like I do with the, when I take the excess off of clear wax. I tend to take these and fold them in quarters so you can use more surface area. And then also actually I have snazzy gloves on because when you do this, your hands get filthy. Um, so I just take, and I'm hoping you can see this in here, but I'm just gonna take my steel wool and I'm gonna break it up a little bit just so it has some more surface area. It will kind of leave little fibers, but that's one reason you only do this on a really dark color. So you get kind of a good area on there and you literally just take a scoop of dark wax and start massaging it in now it might take a little bit of your paint off so try to be a little careful um it's it's just the nature of the steel wool it looks pretty cool when you're done so i wouldn't worry too much about it if you need to touch it up after you wax, you can just go back with a little bit of paint and touch it up again like I'll do on these drawer edges and then wax those parts again. But it really does give you the best sheen. Now you can see, of course, with a wax brush, it really helps you get in all these crevices and still wool's not quite the same. Um, that's why I only really do this on graphite and because it leaves little metal kind of chunks in it if you have on white so i've kind of got a good coat on there and i've covered everything you can see and then i'll really just start to kind of work the steel wool and it'll work that dark wax right in there because again there's no clear wax on this that's what kind of gives you the ability to stain the dark color into that You kind of a, just like with the rag, you kind of need a clean section of it. And then, and gets you going. And you can, I don't know how much you can see, but it is practically streak free there. Now, I have quite a lot of buildup in my edges here. And I don't want to take any more paint off than I need to. So I will try to get some of that out of my crevices. And 
let's see and take a little nice little last swipe over the top and I don't know how well you can see the sheen there but that is one even application of dark wax and it looks smooth as can be and beautiful and it feels like butter like you hardly had to take anything off now you can see of course that the edges here are a little bit worn off I uh, like that look but in this case I know the client doesn't so now I'll go back with a little bit of graphite paint and fix that and then I'll go back again with some dark wax and fix those so that's it um, let me know if you have any questions I hope this made graphite waxing a little bit easier for you have a good day